Hello everyone, my name is Michael and I am a park ranger here at Mammoth Cave National Park. I'm currently in our museum right in front of an excellent display showing how Mammoth Cave was formed. Take a look at these different layers of rocks. You can see these layers of rocks start to break down to create a solution-based cave. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about how these solution-based, also known as limestone caves, are formed. And I have one of my favorite books with me. It's called Caves and Caverns by Gail Gibbons, and I'd like to read a small section of it for you today. A limestone cave, also called a solution cave, is the most common type of cave. Limestone caves begin to form when rain falls to the earth, collecting carbon dioxide from the air. As rainwater trickles through the soil, it picks up more carbon dioxide. The water and the carbon dioxide mix together to become an acid solution called carbonic acid. As a solution seeps through the limestone, it eats away at the soft stone, making small holes. Many years go by and the holes become bigger. And bigger. And bigger. The solution keeps eating away at the limestone. Finally, when the water drains away, air enters the hollow space and begins to form a limestone cave. The solution continues to drip into limestone caves. Drip, drip, drip. It seeps through the cracks in the rock. When a drop dries on the ceiling of a cave, it leaves a teeny bit of calcite crystals. Another drop follows. It leaves behind calcite crystals too. Drop after drop, the calcite crystals collect in the same spot. These crystals build up to form a stone icicle called a stalactite. Drops fall to the floor of the cave too. They build stone icicles from the ground up called stalagmites. Wow. Let's take an in-depth look at how Mammoth Cave was formed. We have two different types of rocks here. The light brown rocks are called sandstone rocks. The light gray rocks are called limestone rocks. Both of these rocks here are found at Mammoth Cave National Park. The sandstone rocks erode quicker through physical erosion. So if we rub these rocks together, you can see they start to break down. Limestone rocks, the rocks that are found inside of Mammoth Cave, do not break down very quickly through physical erosion. Now there's another type of erosion called chemical erosion. And let's take a look at how sandstone and limestone react differently to chemical erosion. We have with us today some hydrochloric acid, and it's mimicking carbonic acid, that same acid we learned about in the story. Now this has a reaction much quicker than carbonic acid has. On the sandstone, we see that it moistens the rock, but it doesn't really break down the rock though. Let's take a look at what happens for the limestone though. Wow, that's pretty cool. You can see a large chemical reaction happening here. You see bubbles, even a little bit of smoke as well. That shows us that limestone rock breaks down quicker in chemical reaction when exposed to things like carbonic acid. Thank you all for joining me as we learn a little bit more about how Mammoth Cave was formed.